friends, Sarah Resnick here, sarahresnickyoga.com. And today's video, I want to share with you a bit about tools that you can have at home that help you have a, um, like a self-massage practice, self-massage tools. Um, this can be the tools that I'm going to show you will help you have a practice that stretches and broadens the muscles. It brings blood flow into the muscles. If you um, if you have a flare up of a tight back or a tight spot, you can use these tools to get in there and help to relieve some tension. If you just did a long hike or had a lot of days of um, kind of intense work for your body, you can use massage tools, self-massage tools to gently bring it back. They're good for regular maintenance and they're good for if your body has like a flare up. So anyone who, is, you know, Oh, is is more serious about wanting to have a, a, a self-care movement practice, self-care body practices. Um, anyone who I am working with, I'll recommend that they get a lot of these tools. They're not absolutely necessary, however, they're an investment in your long-term health and the health of your muscles. So. Um, and your mental health too because when we release from the muscles um, we take a load off in our mind and our bot and our body at the same time okay so um, first tool is a foam roller and uh, foam rollers I have two different ones here and I'll tell you about the difference between them. Um, first I'll say that they're about the same size, right? Like, and, and I also have the shorter version. You can get longer foam rollers. Um, it's been my experience that I can get most of what I need done with a smaller foam roller. What um, the way that there is differences, the bigger differences, are in density. So this one here is soft and squishy, but it's, I think it's about a medium, they call it a medium. It's not a soft, it's a medium. And then this one is pretty hard and it's called more of like a firm density. Um, when you're first starting out or if you have if you're particularly you're just tender and sensitive you're going to want a softer one or a medium one if you like deeper tissue or you have more experience with that um, getting in there kind of digging in sensory wanting to get deeper into the tissues then uh, you're going to want a firmer one. I like to have both because at times I do want this softer one and for different locations in my body, but a lot of the times I'm using the firmer one. Okay, so foam roller. After foam roller, um, I want to share with you, these are, all three of these tools are created by, um, Tune Up Fitness and uh, TuneUpFitness.com. I'm not <laughs> an affiliate or anything with them, but I really like her products. And um, there's this soft ball, so this is a nice, and you can um, put more air in it. It's a little bit firmer, and the um, the rubber is kind of sticky. So, for instance, here on my neck, I can take and I can press that sticky rubber in and kind of move the skin. It feels really good. These are also very nice for um, massaging. You would lay on it. You can massage the belly and get into the organs and the digestive system. Um, wonderful tool courageous ball and this is a 
four inch hard density um, massage ball. Now I could take and put this here and then press up against a wall, lean in and massage um, all these pectoral muscles. You can sit on it and kind of get into the piriformis and the tight muscles in the hip, the hamstring. You could take this, place it anywhere on your body and then get your body either on the ground on a hard surface, up against the wall on a hard surface, right? So it's about sandwiching your body in the ball and a hard surface and getting into those tissues. And then there's also these um, smaller balls. A two, this is two balls inside a, um, like a mesh sack. Now, a lot of people will use tennis balls and um, a sock or racket balls and a sock. And I think those can, can definitely work. Um, these are a little bit more expensive. They do have a different density and that different density does allow you to get into layers of the tissue a little more specifically than a tennis ball or the racket ball. Um, that's been my experience anyways. I think the others can, can work. Um, and these again, whether you're using one or two, if you're using two in um, this mesh bag here, what ends up happening is then you can put like say your spine is right here and you put the two balls on either side of the spine and then the wall here and you can run that up and down your spine or same thing on the hip maybe you have a spot and just having the two points of contact with a space in between is different than this one this is more specific and intense. This is more diffused and spread out. Um, so those are all self massage tools. Um, how to use them. So uh, in my uh, membership, uh, the mindful movement membership on my website, I do have some classes that get into how to use these. Um, and it comes into my live classes as well. So lastly, last tool here with this like self massage tool set is what's called a half dome um, styrofoam. Again, and these rubber styrofoam plastic things, they're not the greatest for the environment, admittedly. However, if we take care of them, they will last a lifetime. We could use them for 20, 30, 40 years and they'll be fine. Um, so this one is actually, I use this mostly for some feet stretches that I love and um, I have another video about the foot stretches with um, that you that you use this for. You could use like a, a beach towel a folded in half, rolled up really firm. You could use a blanket. You could use an extra rolled up yoga mat. All those things work, but they do not work as specifically and succinctly as this um, half dome. So again, it's hard foam and what happens is the foot, you put the ball, ball of the foot right on top of that and you get an amazing stretch for the fascia on the bottom of the foot, around the Achilles tendon and up into the calf. There are other uses for these. Once you have the tools, you can find lots of different ways to, um, to use them. But that's the main thing that I, I use this half dome for is those feet stretches. And those feet stretches are so important. I do them multiple days a week. Um, and really they'd be good for everyone to do multiple days a week. And the cool thing about something like the feet stretches too, is that you don't have to take 10, 15, 30 minutes to do something like that. You don't even really have to warm up for it. You can keep this like by your desk, um, slid under the counter by where you do dishes 
and and use that you know when you go into the kitchen to remind yourself oh uh, now I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna take two minutes and do my feet stretches or at your desk before you sit down I'm gonna take two minutes and do my feet stretches right so there's that tools that we can use to give ourselves um, some self-care to give our muscles and our fascia and our tissues and our connective tissue some circulation and while we're getting in there and massaging it we can link our attention into what we're feeling and send our breath in there so that then it becomes like our yoga practice but it's self-massage we're connecting brain to body getting breath in there getting blood flow and and giving yourself some pleasure and relief and that's a wonderful thing too so thanks for tuning in today i hope you found this useful um, if you have any questions or comments don't hesitate to reach out and i'll get back to you